It's now time for mission and a mission tonight. Expectant mothers and newborn babies at Latinpa and Kadeni in the North Gonja district of the Savannah region still struggle to assess health care. Stanley Niblo reports a chips compound to serve the primary needs of the people is now a shelter for goats three years after completion. Pregnant women at Latinpa and Kadeni for years have been going through difficult times to assess health care, especially when labor sets in. In September last year, a crew from TV3 visited the community to report on an abandoned community-based health planning and services, CHIPS compound, constructed to facilitate the provision of basic health care to the inhabitants. The crew chanced on a pregnant woman in labor being transported on a motorbike to a health facility at Bunjai, about 20 kilometers away, to deliver. This was after the community's traditional birth attendant could not handle the situation. The life-threatening journey was done amidst a bad road. The situation Azaratu went through is what all pregnant women and the sick have had to endure. After that painful labor on a motorbike, Azaratu finally gave birth to twins, one boy and one girl. But the problem that still persists is that when these children are sick, their mother is compelled to carry them on a motorbike to assess health care at Bunjai, some kilometers away. Azaratu was not comfortable with the experience. Before I arrived at Bunjai on the motorbike, the pain I went through affected my waist and made the delivery difficult. The situation here is disturbing and it has to be addressed. In October last year, after TV3 had reported on the situation, Municipal Chief Executive for East Gonja, Muhammad Tamin, assured residents of commissioning the chips compound in four months. He told the mission team procurement processes for equipment to stock the facility have been completed and the supplier was ready to deliver the items. We have made provision for the finishing of these chip compounds in our 2018 budget. They were not budgeted for at all. So I did that and we have finished with the procurement processes and the supplier is in the in in in, in it's almost ready to supply these uh, equipments you find one or two of the cheap compounds in a bus state. we are ready to fix them and uh, get these equipment in there and get them uh, operationalized eight months on nothing has been done and the supplier has also not delivered the items goats continue to inhabit the structure the deteriorating state of the ceiling has also worsened. Assemblyman for Latinqua, Mahamadu Mahama, blames politicians for the neglect. When you came here, before we, we talk about it, this year called me and said that I didn't tell him about the Kipompa to do it. And, what I, and when I, I didn't tell him, and you come and I said that he didn't do anything, I went to spoil his work. So... How I done is not good for, for him. There has been a new development. Just now they, they, they divide the district. So we are now second off now. And we had our DC now. Maybe I will go and tell our DC and he also look for it. That's how I went to do now. Municipal Chief Executive for East Gonja, Muhammad Hamin, when contacted, confirms the partitioning of the municipality, adding that the Lantingpa Chips compound is no more within his jurisdiction, and so the facility would be one of the liabilities that will be passed on to the newly carved district. He again said, resources and logistics procured to stock the Lantingpa Chips compound would be used to furnish other health facilities in the municipality. Road linking Kadengi to Lantingpa which was washed away by flood, has also not been rehabilitated. Another chips compound at Yayayili in the East Gonja municipality also suffers the same fate. Here, 
Doors and frames have been dislodged from their positions as a result of termite infestation. Residents of Latinpa, Kedeni, Yayayili and adjoining communities are calling for stringent intervention to address their health care needs. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News, Latinpa, North Gonja, Savannah Region. Now, teachers at the Bola DA Primary School in the Pandai District of the Northern Region continue to abandon classrooms for farming. As Stanley Niblo reports, the fate of pupils hangs in the balance as they are not taught by teachers. In September last year, the mission team visited the Bola DA Primary School, situated at a strategic location in the Bola community. The school provides formal education to close to 100 pupils, but teaching and learning is not effective as teachers, who are the main stakeholders, do not regularly attend school. As a result, pupils are losing out. The mission team's investigations reveal that district authorities do not frequent the area to undertake monitoring activities due to the long distance they would have to cover from Pandai, the district capital. This has given teachers the luxury to stay away from school and deprive pupils of their right to education. During our previous visit to the Bola Basic School on a Monday morning, pupils had reported to school in their numbers. However, there were no teachers at the school, and so pupils were whiling away instruction hours, playing football in the classrooms. At midday, when no teacher had still reported, the pupils went home. The head teacher, Abaraka Rahman, who was accused for allegedly embezzling PTA dues, later approached and wanted the reporter to kill the story. What are you suggesting? That I shouldn't do the story at all? Now we are pleading. That I shouldn't do the story at all? So that? That one, that one will not work. If any cost, we can bear, we can bear it. That one, to, to, we have been very happy. After TV3 went ahead to broadcast the story, Abarukaraman was transferred, leaving his colleague Brahim Afuseni in the school. Two other teachers were then posted to the Bola school to support Brahim Afuseni to run the school. With this change, parents have high hopes in anticipation of improvement in teaching and learning, but this has tended to be a mirage. On Friday, March 29th this year, the team decided to go back to the school and ascertain what has changed since our first visit. Although afraid, the team still had to go. Riding for about two hours, the team finally arrived in the school. To our amazement, the team met an empty school as at 9 a.m. Our investigations in the community revealed pupils reported to school but they were compelled to go home because teachers did not come to school. Teachers of this school are constantly demonstrating the habit of not coming to school. Today is 29th March 2019. It's a Friday and pupils are supposed to be in school, but they have all gone home simply because there are no teachers to teach them. The pupils said, that was the second time their teachers had absented themselves from school in a week. We guarded one of the teachers, Brahim Afuseni, after shunning class, came for three of the pupils and sent them to his yam farm. This was confirmed by the chairman of the Parents Teacher Association. The teacher did not inform me before sending the pupils to the farm. We will ensure he's been sermoned to explain why he had to engage the pupils on farms. In the evening of the same day, the team met Brahim Afuseni in town with a friend. When the team approached him, he told the mission team he did not go to school because he feels a burning sensation in his heart but has never bothered to seek medical attention. District Chief Executive for Pandai, Emmanuel Atta Tatablata, said issues of teacher absenteeism would be addressed. We need not to rush. We need to take our time so that we don't step on so many people's tools. In the attempt of doing the right thing, we don't step so many people's tools. You must step, but it should be in a gradual process. 
Wandai District Education Director Nayan Faustina is yet to visit the school. Achieving the universal access to education and lifelong learning in Bola would require stakeholders' commitment. The Ghana Education Service must also intensify its monitoring, especially in the hinterland communities, to guarantee equal access to education for all. Stanley Niblu, TV3 News, Bula, Bandai, Northern Region. Quite an unfortunate development there, but that's all for Mission tonight. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danuda, UK Aid and the EU. Now we're going for a short break. When we return, we have sports with Yao Fusulabi.